In this video I won't go much in detail about Blender and Assetto Corsa editor. You should already be familiar with that. Anyway, I will leave links for a few tutorials on that in description. I will only briefly describe the most important parts on how I clean photogrammetry mesh and put it in Assetto Corsa. If you want to know how I got to this stage, watch my previous tutorial. So, we have the whole reconstructed track in Reality Capture and we have imported it in Blender. The idea is to duplicate this mesh and then clean up and decimate the duplicate. We keep the original mesh untouched because we needed to bake diffuse textures from it. I then made a plane object 100 by 100 meters. I duplicate it around the track so I have a reference to separate the mesh on approximately equal parts. Adjust the angle a bit and now we have grid around the whole track. We are doing this because Assetto Corsa does not support large meshes, so we have to break it apart. Also, it is faster than working with one huge mesh. On these sections, we select only road and sidewalk polygons, that is, only surfaces you can drive on. Then we separate this as a different object and name it according to Assetto Corsa convention. Along that, we can clean some glitches. Separate all road objects. Reality Capture Mesh has a lot of materials on it, randomly distributed. First, delete all of them. Then add new material with empty texture. We are going to bake diffuse on it from the original mesh. At first, I added different texture to every road section. Later, I used one texture for more sections. We see how UV map from Reality Capture is randomly distributed so we have to generate them again. If you have this issue when baking, means that the bake cage is not set up correctly. You need to adjust these two parameters. Now that we have roads separated, we can add necessary objects to import to a set of Corsa. Info on how to prepare a truck can be seen here link is in description. Export FBX. We choose only selected objects. To export only roads and objects for a set of Corsa which we selected. Not to export all meshes. I had wrong scale, so I entered here 0 0.01 to correct it. We import FBX to editor and here is our track. Looks great, doesn't it? Save the track and we can test it in game. Shader is terrible. And what a great pothole over there. And this just happened. Shader is now improved and road works here. It was incorrectly named. But the surface is bumpy as hell. First to fix this hole. I tried to smooth the road with sculpting tools, but separated meshes are making a problem when smoothing the edges. So I had to join them back together. Vertices also had to be merged again. Before manually sculpting, I added a smooth modifier. I use dynamic topology to reduce poly count and equalize polygon size. It also fixed glitches from reality capture and improved my quick hole fill. Then I started smoothing the road. For quicker testing I unwrapped road to a single UV space and one map. 
Road mesh is huge for a Seto Corsa editor, so it has to be separated again. All these road sections are now using single texture. Testing the smoothed road. It's better, but not smooth enough. What an awesome jump here! Then I selected and separated the grass parts from the mesh. Named them with a set of course a convention. Then I separated building meshes to closer and further from the road. Closer mesh will be higher resolution. The mesh further away can have less detail. This is just for a bit of optimization, but surely this track has to be optimized more. Then I decimated these meshes, trying to reduce poly count as much as possible and retain the object shape as much as possible. Added also a smooth modifier to iron it out a bit. In first map baking, I failed to set bright color to a world, so my baked textures turn out dark. Also, I didn't turn off the influence of lighting, so shadows were baked and made it darker. There are a lot of 8K textures in this track. Reality Capture reconstructed the mesh with 39 8K textures, so I tried to get close to that number to keep texture quality to a maximum. Here is the example when I baked 4K texture to one section close to road, and when 8K texture is baked. The 4K one is also a bit darker because of the reasons I mentioned previously. When the FBX file gets too large, mostly because of large texture files, the editor crashes. To resolve that, we can split a track to a multiple KN5 files. To load them all into a single track, in our track folder we need to create a models.ini file. In there we list the names of the KN5 files, and Assetto Corsa will load them all when starting a track in game. My file is named models short, because I made two layouts, so each of them has its own models.ini file. You can learn more about track layouts here, link is in description. Here is the track with close meshes loaded. The road is a bit better, it is smoothed more, but it is not good enough. It's not quite drivable. So I decided to retopologize the road mesh manually. I used this smoothed road mesh as a base, not the original one. Manually made road is much more drivable. To create sidewalks, we first select the edge of the road it should go along. Duplicate that edge and separate it as different object. Then convert it to curve and bevel along it the sidewalk profile curve we made for this. You can now edit the profile curve to change the shape of the sidewalk. After that, we convert it to mesh again to further adjust it. We have sidewalks now. I added subdivision to both the road and sidewalk to increase mesh resolution, but that smooths the curb edges. The easiest way to correct that is with edge crease. Next problem to solve is to close gaps between meshes. The easiest way for this is to use shrink wrap modifier. First we select the edges of the photogrammetry object and create vertex group with it. 
so only that vertices will be aligned to a mesh we select. Then add shrink wrap modifier. You can choose either nearest surface or vertex, whichever suits the situation best. Select vertex group and pick an object to align vertices to. Done. Needs cleanup. We can first delete the vertices that overlap, so shrink wrap needs less cleaning. Now for the collisions. We are not going to use dense photogrammetry meshes, but are going to create simplified walls with invisible texture. Select all the edges around the road and sidewalk where collisions should happen. Duplicate and separate as different object and extrude along Z axis. The wall is complete. For trees, poles and fences I also created fake invisible walls. To create an invisible material in the editor you need an empty texture with alpha. Choose Alpha Test Blend Mode and Alpha Ref to 1 to disable shadows. And it works! The settings for other shaders are all the same and not quite good, but it works for now. Objects which photogrammetry did not reconstruct but are quite important like this bridge fence, I modeled manually. I smoothed out some of these buildings, they were too bumpy. To add the surrounding terrain I used GIS add-on for Blender and imported Google Earth terrain data. Tutorial on that is in description. A lot of people were asking if Google Maps can be used for whole track. It is very low res, but it is a good start when you manually model a track. Some cities have photogrammetry meshes. They are also low res, but maybe it could be a starting point and help you not to do your own photogrammetry. I'll try that in the future. The one problem I see is that it often has shadows baked in, because it's usually sunny. As for the images from the street view, first I'm not sure if there is a way to batch download them. If you can, they are taken at large distances, not dense enough for photogrammetry. And there is still the sun and shadows problem. So I never actually considered that path. These parts where texture is not generated in reality capture, usually because there was a vehicle blocking it, I had to clone paint manually. On the roads also. Some buildings further away were missing. I just extrude simple polygons and pasted the texture from Street View. Previously there was too much empty space. There are missing few more objects still. And that would be pretty much all. The track to be perfect needs a lot more cleaning and tidying. But at some point I just decided to stop. More work on it won't too much contribute to better driving experience than it is now. It's fun enough driving through your own town, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's good enough. A lot of people were asking how much time this took. Recording videos both with GoPro and drone was 10 hours. The reality capture and photogrammetry part, which was explained in previous tutorial, was 92 hours, and cleaning up from this video took 137 hours. That makes it total to 239 hours to make this. I'm not counting computer time, only my work. It's not small amount, but it is much less than full manual modeling. One person model manually cannot achieve this level of detail in this short time, if ever. I know I tried it. This is the result for the same track after 47 hours of work. Looks awful. 
I hope in near future AI can help us on some or all of the tasks to achieve this.